love, as I say. So anyway, all right. Sorry. Ugh. My my nose is really bothering me tonight. Donna, yep. Helped my depression when I finally got on right hormones. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Donna, for saying that because that's my next topic. Okay. So when I was 16, this is something I don't talk about, but um, I know I've said a little bit about it. I was suicidal for a year. Um, basically, what happened was is that my older sister was in a car accident and I felt like she was the only person in the world that understood me. And she's the, she's the reason why I found out that I had TS because my she told my parents to tell me. And so, uh, but I feel like when, and I used to have a lot of self-confidence issues and I say I used to. I think any woman with TS has or can have self-confidence issues and there's many reasons why. And I don't think it's anything for us to say like, oh, I don't have any self-confidence. No, let, 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 let's get real. Let's get real here with the sisters. You know, when you're growing up and you, you see like your sister, your cousin, your friends in high school and everything or middle school, you notice things and you know, and you like, you know, you know, you're different. And, you know, but the thing is that I think is important is for you to embrace your difference because each one of us is individualistic. If we were all the same, it, the world would be a boring place. Um, you know, you have to embrace who you are. It's all about your personality. It's all about who you are and who you view yourself as. You know, I think that's the most important thing. And, you know, we all go through things in our life that make us doubt ourselves, or they can give us, uh, you know, either a confidence boost or, you know, confidence downer, you know, and I think it's really important just for you to remember who you are. I think that's the most important thing. And I think it's also important for us to to reach out to our sisters. If you're feeling bad, you know that y'all you know you've got me. You've got me on person a lot of y'all have liked me on face or you know, we're friends on Facebook. You can message me. I have no problem. You know, if it's two o'clock in the morning and usually my phone is on silent when I go to sleep, I I apologize. But if it if it's not if I'm up at that time, I will talk to you. I don't mind. Or when I wake up, I will message you back. If you need to talk, I'm here. And, you know, I I just want you girls to know that. So I'm glad, Donna, thank you for saying that because I think that's very important. And be open and honest with your family and friends. Like if you're having feelings and stuff, like I remember when I lived in Wyoming, I, I went through a period where I was really bad about... I got I got depressed and but I think my hormones helped me balance out. I think I think what Donna was saying is true because it's so important for us to do that, you know, to be open with everybody. And so anyway, all right, moving on. <laughs> we're gonna move from that. Personal relationships. Okay, so personal relationships, we're talking about your parents, we're talking about your friends, we're talking about extended family, whatever. Okay. Camille I'm sorry, Camille. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but you know who you are. I'm sorry, Camille. I have asked multiple, uh, multiple of my doctors about my hormones. They keep telling me nothing needs to change. Uh, Camille, I want to ask you what hormones a, a what hormones you're on. Uh, B have they done hormone panels? If they have. I would love to know what your numbers are. Um, I'm very curious about that because when you have TS, there's usually some sort of hormone that you need to be on. Um, so I, I'm very curious about that. So if I were you, if you haven't done a hormone panel, get a hormone panel done and go see another doctor uh, <laughs> and message me. Uh, Camille, birth control, no panels. Okay. Um, you need to have panels done. Uh, tell your doctors, go in there and tell them you want a panel. You need a panel. Um, birth control, that's good. Um, I was on birth control myself for a little while, uh, because it has the estrogen progesterone combo. And, um, but now I'm on estradiol and medroxyprogesterone. Sorry, hmm, I can't even say that. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I'm on right now as far as like the estrogen progesterone treatment. So if I were you, get those panels done and talk to your doctor because that needs to be that needs to be done all right so personal relationships all right first off i've had you know oh well who do i tell when do i tell them uh 
you know, anything like that. Oh, Christy, uh, age to get hormone panel question. Um, that usually, I, I think they started doing mine when I was, shoot, how old was I? I want to say I was like eight when I started getting, um, like blood work done. Uh, so usually if they don't do it then, especially when you start taking growth hormones, they need to start doing it around, you know, like 11, 12, like, you know, the puberty age, they need to be doing that. So that way they know where your hormone, you or your daughter, you know, hormones are, what levels you need to be at, things like that. So that's very important. They at least need to start by puberty. Um, Amy Vaughn, panels can be tricky with synthetic hormones. Also have to gauge how you feel. Exactly. Um, that is very important because that's actually how they found out that I had Hashimoto's because they did, so I, my panels, when they did my panels, I, my panels were still low for my TSH and everything. Um, but if you're feeling lethargic, groggy, less mental clarity, different things like that, those are important things for you to talk to your doctor about. Um, and then they can either do another, another hormone panel or they can up whatever hormones you're on. You know, that's why you need to be open and honest with your doctor. Danielle, do you need, do you need to do it yearly? Um, yes. Uh, when I, well, recently they were doing mine like every three months, three, three to four months. When I was younger, I remember getting blood work done. Like it was like twice a year. So yeah, I would do it. I had my first at 42, but I'm a lot older than some of y'all. Things have changed a lot since I was a child. That's true. Um, you know, and for that, I'm very thankful that, you know, medicine has advanced from, you know, everything. Uh, Greta, I get panels done every six months. Yeah, that, that's usually typical. Um, and so I would... Sorry, excuse me. Ugh, the, these sinuses are killing me. I'm telling you what. These sinuses are killing me. This is going to be the death of me. Um, Jennifer, Jennifer Davidson. Hey, I didn't even know you had joined. I'm sorry. I don't think I have ever had a hormone panel. I am on birth control. Get one done, please. For the dear love of God, get one done, girl. I love you. <laughs> please. I care about you. Um, so... All right, moving on to personal relationships. Or if we if we still have uh, questions about the hormones, I, I do want to keep those going. Um, Greta, I, I think I can see part of a comment or a question. I see I, but it won't let me see the rest of it. Danielle, because I have a, an appointment coming up, and I noticed I'm very lethargic. Talk to your doctor about that. Um, I was very lethargic when... Um, when I found out that I had Hashimoto's, that's how I found out. I went to the doctor because I could barely even get out of the bed. It was that bad. I was just, I was drained all the time. Um, I could barely think. I could barely, like, it was horrible. Greta, I am on the Nuvering for hor hormones. I mean, that that is one form. Um, it's not uncommon. So, um, I mean, it. just let me know how you how you like it. I've heard some girls like it, some girls don't. Uh, so just let me know how you feel about that. Colleen, also thyroid is something to check. Yeah, that's why, that's why I was talking about the Hashimoto's because like when I found out that I had Hashimoto's, um, you know, your thyroid is a huge thing. If your thyroid is shot, you are going to have issues and 33% of girls with Turner syndrome can have thyroid issues. So please have your thyroid checked if you don't. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a couple. Um, Colleen Duvall, I have Hashim Hashimoto's too. Right there with you, sister. I feel you. Um, Danielle, my thyroid panel is a, is a one last time they checked. I'm trying to remember what one is. I know for, um, I know mine was like at a six one time. It was horrible when I found out. Um, Greta, love it. Me too. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah. Um, yeah, so thyroid is something very, very important to check. Um, so personal relationships, this is something I want you to know, you know, a, you can tell whoever you want, whenever you want, it's, you know, it's up to you.